Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Ashley and I sell on eBay and Amazon part-time while being home with my boys. And today I thought it would be a good day to tackle eBay scams because yes, they happen and it's really annoying and it's really frustrating, but I'm going to tell you some key tips on how to avoid them, how to protect yourself, and also just go into some details about what might happen to you and your account. And first of all, I just want to address that Every single video I do, I get a comment, eBay is a scam, Amazon's a scam, you're getting paid by eBay, you're getting paid by Amazon, whatever, to share information that is super not true, you guys. <laughs> like, I do all of this on my own accord, I share information based on my own experience, eBay does not tell me what to say, no one tells me what to say but me and my own experience. So, I'm sure I'll still get comments down below that say something to the effect of, I've been selling on eBay for... 15 years and this is all a scam and don't trust it and you're not making any money, blah, blah, blah. It's not true, you guys. There are, of course, pros and cons to every single platform. Every platform you sell on, no matter what it is, is going to have trolls and scammers who might scam you. But I think scams are very largely over-exaggerated. I don't think they happen nearly as often as some people say they do. And for me, I've barely experienced any in the thousands and thousands of items that I have sold. So let me just get that out of the way. It's very rare. However, that doesn't diminish the fact that it does happen. I do think eBay is trying to mitigate scams as much as they can, but do I think that it's enough? Yet? No, I don't. So hopefully more changes will be made in the future that can help protect sellers um, from scams, but Buyers as well will get scammed by sellers. It goes both ways and eBay is very aware of that. And these are eBay executives that I have spoken to one-on-one -on -one who have told me they have to consider both sides of the coin. They have to consider buyers who get scammed by sellers and sellers who get scammed by buyers. It goes both ways. So all of that aside, in addition to that, I have made a ton of money on eBay. I love eBay as a platform. I love that I can share it with you guys. I love sharing my finds. All of that has been so great, and so I'm not here to trash on eBay and say that it's a bad platform. I think it's a great platform. You're going to get scammed on Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. It just happens on every single platform. Facebook Marketplace. I mean, we all know there's just people out there who are looking to take advantage of others everywhere you go, and here's just ways on eBay specifically that you can avoid it. Okay, so number one is if you are a brand new seller, you have zero feedback, they are going to target you because you are brand new. You may not know any better. They might and by they I mean a buyer, a bad buyer, might message you and say, hey, I'm interested in this, but I want to pay outside of eBay. You know, it can be a call, it can be a text, it can be email, don't do it. Do not pay outside of eBay, number one, number one rule. Never ever fall for that because what they're trying to do is trick you into thinking you're getting paid, but really you're not. And then they will just get the item for free and there's really not a whole lot you can do about it because when you pay outside of eBay, they cannot come in and protect you in any way. So that is a bad idea. Do not do it. This bad buyer or scammer may also offer you well above what your asking price is on your item. They may try to entice you into accepting that offer and then they say, oh, by the way, pay me just in this different method XYZ. It may be tempting to do that because you're getting more, but please do not fall for that. It also is a scam. They're just trying to get your information. They're just trying to get the item for free. And a lot of times they're not even trying to get the item for free. They're just trying to find a way to milk information out of you, personal information, sensitive information that may affect you later, steal your identity, all that kind of stuff. So stay far, far away from people who ask you to do anything outside of eBay parameters. It's just not a good idea. So as a buyer, you're gonna always check feedback for the seller. Cause again, like I said, it goes both ways. Check the feedback for the seller, see if they have a really good rating, have been selling on eBay for a long time, you know, upwards of over a thousand feedback. Those are always really good signs that that's a good seller and they're trying to keep you happy. Look at their negative feedback, see if they have any. And that's just a good indication, like I said, of someone who is trustworthy. And then same goes for you as a seller. Buyers want to buy from someone that they can trust and know. You don't have to have a ton of feedback to get people to buy your items. You know, all of us start from somewhere and all of us clearly got here somehow. So we've all been selling things along the way. But yes, your trustworthiness does go up the more positive feedback that you get. So one tiny trick for this is if you haven't been selling a long time and you just started opening an eBay account. So getting some positive feedback as a buyer 
can absolutely contribute to your star rating so that you can avoid some of these scammers from the get-go. I know when I first started on eBay, I was a buyer long before I considered becoming a seller on eBay, so I actually had 10 to 15 five-star feedbacks as a buyer before I even started selling, and that contributed to my rating, and that's actually a really powerful thing because it meant I weeded out a lot of these early scammers that will come into someone with zero feedback and try to lure them into a trap. Buy some things on eBay, get that feedback up if you can, and it's just one little hack to get you ahead of the curve. Next up is, what if a buyer sends you back the wrong item or a damaged item instead of what you actually sold, and it could be an expensive item? So this is always a risk, of course, and it's really frustrating. And I know firsthand from sellers who have had buyers send them back fake items of what they have originally shipped out. So of course that sucks, it's not fun. First though, I do wanna add that I sell all the time to people with zero feedback and most of the time I never have an issue. These are people who maybe are someone in my audience that are signing up for eBay just to buy something from me to support me. Thank you again if you do that. That's super nice. The vast majority of the time these are zero problem at all and I usually have a great experience. I'm able to give them their item. They pay me promptly and it's no problem. New buyers come onto eBay all the time. So I would say I'd actually err on the side of trusting people rather than distrusting people. And that's kind of why I have my buyer requirements as a negative one, because that means they've already gotten one negative feedback and I don't want that. But if they're brand new, zero feedback, I do sell to people like that all the time and it's never really given me a problem except maybe once or twice. That aside though, there are bad buyers out there. There are people who send back the wrong item intentionally just to get the free authentic item. Here's what you can do according to eBay. Yes, it's frustrating. No, you cannot get all of your money back. What you can do is give them up to a 50% discounted refund, meaning that you only give them back half of what they paid to help you recoup your costs. This is something that I talked to eBay executives over a year ago at eBay Open about, and this was their solution. It was you know, telling us that the best way to avoid these problems was to report this bad buyer so that they can get kicked off the platform altogether. You can report buyers for bad behaviors like this, frequent returns, abusive language. eBay has a whole list of things. If they open duplicate requests for other buyer protection programs to then get extra money back. Here are the reasons that you can report a buyer for being a bad buyer. If they open duplicate requests using other buyer protection programs, if they collude with a seller to wrongly declare an item's value on customs, do not do this. Sometimes international sellers will ask you to change the value of an item to wrongly reported on customs so they don't pay as much. I've had a buyer do that in the past. I canceled the transaction. It did not go through because it was a risk for me as a seller and for them as a buyer. Not a good idea. You know, rule of thumb, don't be dishonest. <laughs> Sometimes they file a chargeback after they've already received a refund. This will go away as PayPal gets phased out and as managed payments come in. That is what eBay executives told me. PayPal buyers can no longer go back into PayPal and ask for a second refund on items that you already refunded within eBay because everything will be managed by eBay. That is what I was told. So I'm very interested to see how it plays out in the future. If it will be a simpler process to deal with returns for buyers, we shall see. I mean, this is being rolled out right now. Let's all just buckle our seatbelts and get ready for this new ride. If a buyer falsely claims that an item was not as described, that is a strike against them, that's a bad buyer. Unfortunately, that happens much more often than I would like to say. A buyer can also not claim that they didn't receive an item if there is proof of delivery in their tracking information. So if the tracking says delivered, you guys, you are done. You are free and clear. They cannot do anything to you. If they eat message you angrily saying, I didn't get it, it was stolen, whatever, not your problem. And that's what you can tell them. I'm sorry. Tracking says delivered. I have done my part. The end. If they try to keep coming after you, they're a bad buyer and you can report them. And again, if they return an item that was not the original item that you sent out, that is of course a bad buyer. You can report them. If they use or damage an item before returning it, of course you can report them for that and then only refund them half of that. But there is no option as of right now to not refund them anything you can try calling eBay customer support. Let's see if they've changed it over the last year. I'm not sure. I haven't really had to deal with any of this over the last year. I've been pretty lucky, but maybe others have. All right, you guys. So the part that I filmed was out of focus. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. But you can actually, in your account settings and site preferences, you can go down to buyer requirements and have specifications that restrict certain buyers from buying your things. So definitely go play with that. 
test it out and see what kind of buyers you might want to restrict. Calling eBay customer service is definitely your first line of defense. If you have questions with any of this or you're dealing with any of this, you can call them and get them to just say what their piece might be. Maybe something is a little bit different than what I'm reporting right now. This is all based on research I've done, executives I've talked to, and all of the up-to-date information that I have been able to find. But I would happily like to report that in my thousands of items that I have sold, I have had two or three that have been potential scams. Two of those were resolved without any issue for me, and one of them I was out the money, and that was really frustrating, but one out of several thousand really isn't that bad, you guys. I just am begging you to please don't listen to the naysayers, and I'm not being paid to say this. This is totally my opinion, you guys. Based on my own experience, don't listen to people who scare you out of eBay. It's not bad, you guys. Yes, scams happen on every single platform. If eBay is scary, go to Amazon. <laughs> Whoa, is that a different experience? <laughs> you guys, if you don't like returns, selling on Amazon is just its own beast because you are dealing with a lot more there. That is my recommendation. Go for it anyway. Do not get scared. Do not get intimidated. eBay is on your side. I do think they try to fight for the seller. They try to fight for the buyer too. Is it perfect? No. Things happen that are really frustrating sometimes, but I do like that you can report bad buyers. You can block buyers. I've blocked many buyers from even bidding on my stuff, and it's really you can block any buyer for any reason. So if someone just bothers you, let's say someone just continually sends lowball offers on all of your items that's really annoying, you can go into eBay and block that buyer from ever bidding on your stuff, and you never have to hear from them again. Anyway, I hope that covered some of the more common scams, you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to follow up as best I can. What are your experiences, you know, good or bad? I do want to hear all of them. For the most part, like I said, I think selling on eBay is a really good experience. I've really enjoyed it. Yes, there's a handful of customers that are really frustrating, but the vast majority are really nice, really pleasant to work with, and overall, there's a lot of money to be made. So, so again, thanks, you guys. Thanks so much. If you like videos like this, you want more content like this, the best way to let me know is with a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content about reselling from my perspective. Again, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, take care. I will catch you next time.